I think at least the virtue in our democratic systems is that pendulum swings. So you, you will get governments, uh, again in the US, which like Barack Obama's one, really cared about the, the climate and sustainability uh, issues. Also in a big and complex system like the American one, or indeed the federal Australian one, you've got other levels of action. So in the US you have the eastern and western seaboard states very motivated on sustainability and climate action. Uh, similarly in Australia you've got a state structure where some governments will be going ahead, some perhaps not so much. But that's where private sector acting and community action become very important too. Is the private sector doing enough? We're obviously here at a conference where there are a whole variety of speakers across a number of, of levels. We know that business has an interest to, for instance, reduce its reliance on oil, look at uh, other alternatives that are cleaner and more sustainable. From the business leaders that you speak to, is there a want and a will to do more? Well, my impression is that often uh, international business leaders are more tuned into what needs to happen than perhaps some political leaders because they're, they're, they're reading the signals. Uh, I understand in New York at the Climate Summit next week there'll be a major responsible banking uh, initiative launched and that's saying we don't want to invest in things that are going to, going to do da damage to the climate. Uh, so, yeah, I, I have a lot of faith that the good business leadership will be shifting the pendulum right across the private sector on the issues. I want to speak to you about because the big geopolitical event that we've seen this week and get your impressions as, as a former world leader. Of course, what we've seen in Saudi Arabia, the growing tensions in the Gulf between the United States uh, and Iran, and of course the big moves that we've seen in the oil markets this week and the concerns that the volatility in oil prices could throw the global economy into a more significant downturn. What are your impressions on what's transpired and do you share that view that this reliance on oil and of course the big moves that we've seen this week could damage the global economy that's already fairly fragile? Uh, to me it's another signal that the world needs to move beyond oil because isn't it interesting that we saw so much from the most unstable region of the world. That's not sustainable uh, either. Uh, so if it speeds up thinking about the transition to the beyond fossil fuel economy, uh, you know, it's, it's an ill wind and it is an ill wind when a major facility is born. It's an ill wind that blows no good. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.